what's up guys what I thought that I would do in this video is to give you all a brief overview of the new Metasys user interface also known as MUI now what you see in this video is probably going to be a lot different than how your system is going to be set up because that is the one thing about MUI is that you have the ability to completely customize this to make it look the way that you would have it and uh, be in the way that works best for you. Now this is just a brief overview of one of the buildings that we have. Now just from this uh, what we did here I, I basically just want to see what the main building systems are doing and just from this one screen here I can tell what the air handler whether or not it's running I can see what the discharge temp is and that sort of thing I can see what our chilled water is doing uh, I can also see what the hot water system is doing as well and now the thing about MUI is everything is broken up into a space I'm just going to click on the first floor here and you will see here in a moment uh, exactly some of the things that I'm talking about you can see here the way that we currently have this set up and my internet connection is being just a little bit slow uh, we have in this block here we have schedules for the first floor we have the first floor layout and we also have all of the equipment that is associated with the first floor again all of this is customizable depending on exactly what you want to do within your system uh, as far as how each of these blocks look you can change that as well you can have it to do just a whole wide host of things now you're going to notice this little arrow here in each of these what I can do with this arrow if I click it is it will expand this section here into a larger view so that's what I'm going to do right now and you can see here we now have the floor plan expanded out and you can also use your scroll wheel on your mouse you can just go to an area of the building of the floor plan using your scroll wheel you can actually zoom in and zoom out just like that now you can see here as I hover over some of these spaces these rooms you can see the uh, basically the outline of that and that is what we have as a space I mean it's basically what we're doing with this so what I can do is simply hover over one of these and when I click the room the space whatever over in this section here it will actually tell me what the temperature of that room is this is just how we currently have this set up I can also hit view equipment this little button here and it will take me into uh, a closer view of that particular VAV again we're waiting on the internet connection uh, being just a little bit slow but it will populate here in just a moment and you can see here we are getting a lot of uh, we're getting the graphic to come in uh, and we're also getting a lot of the information as far as what's going on with that VAV also I can minimize this you know I can simply minimize that graphic and I can actually go into the text which we can see here I have my all my set points I have occupancy command if I wanted to go in and change this I could just click on it and it's going to give me the ability to change a command whether I want to do an adjust and override or just whatever I wanted to do I can also go in and add an attribute an annotation to where you know as far as why uh, this has been done you can go in and set up a preset for what your change has been and that sort of thing all from this one screen so I'm just going to cancel out of this and down here on the right and you can see where the trends is now this is another neat feature about the way this is set up I'm going to expand that out and I can see all of the trends that are associated with this particular VAV I can also go in and zoom I'm simply going to hold my mouse to a particular point on that click hold and then just drag and it's going to allow me to zoom in on that trend and you can see kind of the brief overview of how it was before I can expand that out if I want to I can move that just like this 
and you know all of the trends set up for this particular VAV this is what it will populate for that uh, you know you can there again you can set this up any way you want you can also go in with uh, this here you can change click this I'm going to pull in a lot of other points I can go into the points list pull all of the different trend points that are set up I can also go in and pull up the points from the equipment that serves this VAV in this case this air handler I can pull in the say cold deck discharge temp or just whatever hot deck discharge temp I can pull that right in to do a comparison when I hit apply you're gonna see the screen change for just a little bit and then it is going to populate back with those other trends pulled into this this is basically uh, becoming the new trend study type of uh, system for those of you guys that are familiar with trend studies you know exactly what I'm talking about if you're trying to determine a little get a little more information about a particular problem uh, you can do that from here you can go in and pull that data and you know you can go in and just do custom ranges there's just a lot that you can do with this data you can change your graphs uh, you know, the way that it looks I mean there's just a lot of information here that you can use now if we go back I'm simply going to minimize that back to our graphic that sort of thing again this is the VAV itself up here on the top I can actually go back to whichever one of the areas that I want to whether I want to go back to the first floor whatever you know I wanted to do you know I can click on that it's going to bring me back to this graphic here and I can go into my schedules or just whatever and again guys like I'd mentioned before it's going to depend heavily on how you set yours up uh, you know another neat feature with the way that we have this set up ourselves uh, I'm going to expand this out and say if I had a few rooms that they're going to be using for some kind of a special event with the way that the scheduling is done within MUI I can simply go through here I can check each of those schedules and then I can apply or add an exception schedule to each of those just from one point uh, you know, if for any of you guys that do scheduling, uh, you know that this can be a big time saver, especially if you have uh, buildings where rooms are, uh, where there will be multiple rooms that will run on the same schedule for some events, but not on others. If you have to break those out, this is one way that it can help to minimize the scheduling that you're done that you uh, that you do okay where you can select whether it's a daily a long running week with a start date weekly just there's a lot that you can do any of these options here start date time you just go in select it from your calendar uh, you know and then select the end time as well the start and end time uh, and then of course when you go next it's going to give you a value of whether you want it to be occupied or unoccupied or whatever and then of course it's going to also give you a uh, review screen to where it's going to show you uh, what the normal day of that schedule was and then where the uh, the uh, exception schedule is going to fall of course we're just going to cancel out of this so it's not something that I'm going to do right now you can actually go in you can select all of these schedules you can deselect all it just really depends on what you would like to do with your system I'm going to go in and minimize this and again guys what you can do is uh, you can also while we have this that building set up to where it uh, by the floor depending on how a building is you may not need that elaborate you can simply go in and set up just a single floor plan and have everything that you need right within that single floor plan uh, you can see here we have a building that is just a single floor and you know we have all of these spaces there in it I can simply click on one of them again it tells me my temperature uh, if I need to I got a button set up here to where it's going to take and show me the air handler the rooftop unit for this particular building uh, again it gives me the trends it gives me everything going on with the air handler as you can see here I also have the graphic and again we're waiting on the slow internet connection uh, we have our trend data here so we'll just expand this out and you can see all of the trend data that's currently pulled into this and of course minimize it so this is just an example of some of the things that can be done with 
the new MUI. Uh, this is just going just a brief overview of some of those things. Now I'm going to just expand this graphic out here and you can see uh, this is a graphic for the rooftop unit. It's taken in a minute to pop everything in but it is slowly pulling things in the way that it needs to be. All right, now there's a lot that can be done. I mean, every building, you can set your buildings up to be different. You can set multiple things up within your buildings. Uh, you can even go in on your uh, various buildings and set up layers of things. If there are certain things that you want to see, uh, if you're looking for something, uh, that is not necessarily something that you would want to keep populated all of the time on your screen. There is a layers tab and we'll get to talking a little bit about that to where you can actually go in and turn on or off particular layers of uh, that is on that particular page. So if I only wanted to see the VAVs uh, the, the air handler layer or whatever you know the best the background will turn it back on I can see just the air handler I can tell what an air handler is covering uh, then I can go in I can turn off the air handler layer and see just the individual VAVs I can click on a VAV that tells me my zone temp now if I go back to the air handler layer I turn it back on turn that VAV layer off and simply click on that you know, it's just going to give me the information and show me just the area covered by that one air handler. Okay, so there's a lot of customization that you can do with this. This is something that uh, one of the JCI techs had set up for us just to, to uh, you know, just as a way of kind of helping things uh, go a little smoothly with this. This is something he did, and it is a very, very powerful way of doing this. You can also go in and set up uh, locations of equipment for example if you have devices above a ceiling if you have pressure sensors or other things that are located in places that you may not necessarily always remember uh, you know of course everybody I'm sure has a notebook to where they write things down uh, or what you can do is you can actually go in and drop uh, locations drop things into various locations to where it's going to simply show you where those are you know here I've got a sensors layer or I can see just the or the location of different sensors thermostats and that sort of thing are uh, you can set that up within your system very easily that's something that we will get into later on down the road so there's a lot of options that you can do with this there's still several buildings that we have got to get set up ourselves and uh, you know there is a lot that you can do each building is going to be a little bit different but you really need to start thinking about exactly what you want your building to tell you when you go in there uh, so you know this is just a quick brief overview that I wanted to do of the MUI of the Metasys user interface there's a lot in this system uh, and there's more that we are seeing ourselves all the time you know it just really depends on uh, uh, you know, the more that we're fooling with it, the more that we're learning. And it, it, I think that it's going to be a very powerful system. There are things that I do not like about it that I know are going to be, uh, there's going to be some changes made. There's going to add some function to this. And going forward, I do believe that this is a uh, going to be a big benefit. But uh, guys, uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, now, what we're going to be doing next is I'm actually going to start building out. I'm going to show you guys some of the steps involved in getting started setting up things for your system. Uh, there is a lot that we will need to go through, and it's not going to be very detailed started out. Uh, if you watch my other video on it, you'll know that... Uh, I mentioned that I'm still trying to learn a little bit about this system myself. Uh, as I'd said, it is a uh, very powerful system. There is a lot of things in here that can be pulled out, and it's just a, uh, a lot that can be done with it. And I'm trying to learn a lot of that myself. I've been worrying some of the JCI techs to death with uh, getting them to help me try to learn things with this system. Uh, you know, but I'm going to show you guys what little that I know so far, 
and you know just to try to help you guys out i know some of you all have asked me about this in the past and uh we're going to get started doing that but guys i hope this helps uh give you just a little bit better understanding of some of the features within MUI. Uh, there are a ton more i have not even just hardly scratched the surface as far as some of the features there's custom reporting there's just tons of stuff in here but guys hope you like the video be sure to check out all of the rest of the videos on the channel I'm going to be creating a playlist for just the MUI uh, that I'm going to be building out slowly. So you, if you are not a subscriber here, be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, leave those down below. Also check out the links down in the description below. Uh, anything that you buy, if you need some tools or anything like that, it, and what you buy through those links helps to support the channel. Uh, to help keep videos like this coming. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and we will see you next time.